So you don't want to waste time rendering a large scale ocean in Blender. Um, you can do that with EV in these easy steps. First of all, let's go ahead and delete the default cube. And then go to the shader. Let's change this up to the shader editor. So we we'll add a plane, shift A. Then you can scale that up a bit. We'll add a new material. And then we'll, if your node wrangler add-on is enabled, you can just go ahead, click on the principled PSDF, control T. Let's shift this to the side. You can delete the image texture because we're not going to be using that. We are going to add a noise texture, shift A, and the bump texture. And go shift A again and bump. So then you can link up the normal to the normal, the color to the uh, shift that will be color to the height and then the vector to the vector. Then we change it from 3D to 4D. And in here, you type um, hash frame. Okay, go ahead, type this in and we go into our shading view. You can't see it yet. I will have to change the material, the base color. You can take that to all the way to black and then take the roughness down. All right, so if you hit space, it should play. And then what we'll do is that we go into the rendered view. So the whole scene is dark. We need to add in our environment, add in a HDRI texture. So go ahead, environment texture. I have a texture that I've already downloaded. Just go ahead and bring it in. You can get HDRI textures from Polyhaven. So um, come in. And then we can like play with the values a bit to scale in detail. Okay. Let's like scale this up a bit. Press. And scale this up, scale it up a bit, and then I think it's about right. Then you can come to the scale and add in a value. So type in value and then increase it. This is okay. And then we hit play, and you can see it moving. Can increase the speed if we type this up to one. And the speed increases. So here you have it. This is a quick ocean. And then you can go ahead, add maybe let's say boat shift A, but I'm going to use a cube for this. Okay, you can turn on your screen space reflections to show the reflection. So that's it, a quick way to do an ocean in Blender EV. All right, you can go ahead and like, subscribe, and turn on your notification.